It's challenge time in this video. I'm gonna see how many coins I can make in just over 20 minutes. And HL22 has a lot of opportunities to make coins. Showing here 145 sales. I've made hundreds of thousands of coins already in the last five days. I'm gonna go over my method and we're gonna see how many coins I can make, how much I, can sp I had to spend to do it in the next 20 minutes of this video. A boom, boom. Hey, this is Tom Bauman for your first time checking out the channel. Hit that subscribe button to catch all the updates. Thanks a lot for joining me here this morning. All right, gonna try not to spill that one. I already spilled a coffee. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a sniping video this morning. I'm gonna be going through the market. I got my nerd sheet, my shell nerd sheet up here that I, I like to just basically track everything that I can here. You see, we got it in the corner. And yeah, the first thing that I do as I'm going through here is I'm trying to just find the prices of the cards. So I just have an idea of what I'm kind of looking through, looking for as I'm going through. So we're just going to start off looking for the 80s, seeing what their price point is, which um, last time I was doing this on my nerd sheet, I noticed overalls were going for about 1450. So that's what I'm going to start. People have gotten rewards now, so I expect that to affect the market. So I'm going to put down. Let's see what's going on at 1300. It's late at night right now, so there might be a ton of 1800s all underneath here. So this market has gotten a lot lower. Pages, it looks like. Yeah. So the 80s are much more available now. Okay, actually, as you just get lower, there's better price points. So thousands a little low, 1200 probably a little high still. Yeah, we got pages. We gotta get to eleven hundred. Yeah, there we go. So eleven hundred seems to be what they are. Some a thousand, but so about eleven hundred. Which now my nerd sheet kind of tells me when I update uh, this price, kind of says that I need to get them for what eight eighty nine hundred. So if I sell them for eleven hundred, then it takes off fifty five. So I'm making. 150 there not very good to be honest even then so selling for 1150 i'm only recognized yeah not very good price point on at this here have to buy for like 850 really to make anything which you know someone's gonna mess up to get those nothing's really coming up there so not good buys now just the way that those have gone dropped gone down at price is a little tougher to make anything from them my idea is like you got to make i like to be a thousand per card that i'm flipping for lower cards like this, if I could do a few of them, then, you know, 250 is okay. If you do four, 300, you know, three, then you're getting about a thousand. That's all right. So let's see. Same thing here. 1100 is getting us um, even lower for the 81. Seeing some at a thousand. So I'll mark that price down. Same thing. It's even, you know, thousand ish. So the price there. Yeah, same thing. If I buy them at 800, they're still only 150 profit there. Not great. Not great. A little too much work. I mean, you can grind them out. Eight twos, seeing these go up in price a little bit. Um, typically, they're like, you know, 60% more in value or something like that. So let's try it. 15.50, see what we get. A couple pages. I'm going to drop that down to 1400 and see how that looks. Yeah, just a few of them. Ooh, 11.50. Seems like a buy. It's pretty close. It is 1150. I've got 1120 is my price point to buy these at. So that means 1400 minus 70. So that's 1380. It's like 200. You know what? Let's see if we can do it. I'll buy you 1150. Sell you for 1400. We are nerding it up already, guys. Here we go. So this is just a simple buy that I would do. Uh, 1150, 1400. So let's see if we can get that to sell. Be a little test card for us. Okay, two. And you might be like, what? What is the point of keeping track of this stuff, Time Bomb? You're like, you're really gonna keep track of a hundred something coins? Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna do it because I am likely to mess it up if I don't. So I may as well. 30, 30, da, 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 da. It's a few hundred coins, so I'll take those. I'll take those coins. Oh, we went all the way back. So now we're on to the 83s, which can 
be pretty decent. I noticed they were going, this is where it jumps up, but some of them were just going for about 11,000. Obviously now that's going to drop. They're not going to be going for 11,000 anymore, but still, you can make some coins. There's also specific cards in these 82s and 83s that are uh, always going for a little bit more. It's good to know those, and then if you see them pop in there, you you know right away how much more valuable they are. I mean, pretty much anything that's coming in around these points, you you have an you see regularly, so it's, it's, when you see these other cards kind of jump into it, Let's try about 9,000 for the 83s. Yeah, still getting a few pages. Let's try or dropping it down here to like 7,000. Okay, no results there. To 8,000. There we go. We're getting them. Seeing them. 7,100. So, I mean, it's basically the same thing for 7,199, 7,200. You sell for 8,000. Use 400, you could make 300 coins there. That's basically the same thing as that small flip that I did. It just doesn't seem worth investing my coins into a card like that. You know, 7,000 of my coins, and I only have 300 some odd thousand right now. So I'm seeing these all about 8,000 right now, so I'll mark that down for these. My sheet's there, I need to buy it about 6,400. You know, there's some room there, and then eight. That's like 2,000 profit. You could really buy these at, you know, Thumb there and there. That's 6,400 weight minus. Yeah, that's like a thousand profit right there. That's pretty good. So if I can find anything sub, you know, 6,400, that'd be great. That's what I'm looking for on that card. Now the 84s, these were just going off lately. So yeah, they're obviously typically around 20, something like that. I have a couple of those to sell. Bennington. Good chuck at 84. <clears throat> we should check now. The others should check. Okay. Um, twenty thousand, twenty thousand. A couple here. Deep is this? Wow. There's a few more pages. Let's check a little lower here. One for eighteen. Seems like they're going a little bit more, like nineteen right now. Only two there. Oh, what am I talking about? Yeah, it looks like they're about twenty. Page of them. Yeah, just a page, two, well, three pages, 20s. So all a lot of cards in between 18 and 20, though. You know what, like 12, 24, some odd, almost 30 cards there between. So a lot of them in that range. So you could start to see cards like this get undercut by each other, too. But still, right there in that 20,000 range, I would leave it. The 85, let's take a look at. These ones, typically a little lower <laughs> than the 84s. It's pretty funny. Yeah, 85, we gotta get a bit. I mean, we may want to drop it even to 15.5 here. And, okay, so 15.5. Yeah, only a few of them, 13. It seems like they were going for like 16-ish. 13, 14. Say I need to buy it 13, 6. This is 13, 9. That's pretty close. So 16 minus 800 is 15, 200. 15, 200. That means. Uh, well, I could probably sell it at 55, though. Oh, it'll be 16,000. Uh, can I sell it 16,000? I guess. I should actually check out 16. Fourteen five. I'm not going to do that. It's a little too close, that price point. Okay, so the 86 is these two you can definitely make a little bit of coin from if you can find any. Price is 24, 26, 23. These are good prices, especially the 23. Oh, 23 for Flurry. Oh, I should definitely do that. Should actually, all of these are buys. 20, oh, no, 26. I'm only at 23. If I sell 24, if I sell it at 26, uh, at least 1300. That 26 becomes 24, 7. So we're only talking about 700 coins there. Really need that up a little higher. 
Let's take it out of the 27 marker. Because there is a little bit, a few coins we can milk out of that. Yeah, nothing's really going for 27 either, actually. I kind of want to buy all of these if I can put them up for 28. I'm going to buy this 20... 24... Wow, someone bought that flurry. <laughs> This one's 27. It's 26. Yeah, see, they bought that flurry and put them up for 28 right there in front of us. That was a good buy by them. I was still thinking it over. You gotta be quick sometimes. Well, you do have a lot of time to think, it seems, at NHL. So, yeah, I'm gonna put these at 28. And then 87s we'll look at here now, which was way up there. Typically in the 88 range. So check that out none there check out people are probably buying a lot of these cards up right now for hut champions this is actually probably a good time to buy and flip these 90 90 yeah look at that 90 90 i must want to buy all of these there is one right at 100 one at 100 Two at 100, two sub 90. So, I mean, there's two, there's just, the Crosbys are plentiful, it seems. <laughs> Let's take a look at this Dracidal card, which is at 92. Let's compare him to the other ones. See, this one's, one's at 100, one's at 170. See, that's not too bad. You're bad. If you wanted to corner a market here, I'd corner the Dracidal one and try to, so at 92, see, there is some points we made here. If you buy them at 92 and you sell them at 99, then, uh, with a 99 minus 45, oh, okay, 100, we'll say, 5,000. 5, so if you sell them for 100, it's going to be down there. There's 3,000 coins to be made on that. That's not too bad. I mean, that's a couple of coins. I'll take coins. <laughs> I'm torn here on this one. Uh, you know what? Should we be a little wild and make a choice? Make a chance? Take a chance? Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. A lot of people are rocking this Dracidal card. That's for sure. They need them in the set. We're going to be upgrading. I think I'll be able to sell them at sub 100, so I'm going to do it. hours okay so we bought them at 92 we're gonna sell at 92.5 yeah so 2500 profit not great but hey something we're digging out coins here and that is a pretty big investment i would say in coins to do that but that's what we're going with here this morning bark is a little dry we see an opportunity we gotta take it This 87 mark, I don't even know what to say. There's some 90 there, but I would say I would put it more like 100,000 right now. Okay, let's go back. See, I just these two 90s now, the only ones under there. Another place that I like to check out is at the end now, is I'll clear off my overalls and i will go into the collection type here start to look at the x factors these ones oh no did i back out okay there we go these ones can be kind of interesting here 85 it's the lowest i've seen pavelski 52 51. these pavelskis they come out so much you see them constantly look at all pavelskis under the what did i say 88 Thousand? Is that what I had in it? Under 98,000. Look at this, how dry it is. There is nothing. Hellebuck for 85. Chuck for 81, 85, 80. It's an O'Reilly for 90. How's oh, the only O'Reilly for 90? Huh? Interesting. That Hellebuck as well. Only other O'Reilly. Oh, it's the only one for 90, huh? Yeah, that's an opportunity to put him up to 99. 
Should I some, invest some coins in there and try to make a couple more? Pick up a couple more on a high-end card? Holobeck's another one, too. Is he the only one? Oh, I should try to just win this. 505. Yeah, that's a good card. I should just try to bid on this here. We're going to watch this one. we got six minutes here. We're going to try to win this one. Star price, no bids. This is really our... We're putting all our hopes into that card right here on making some decent profit. No, we can always go with the recital one. It's true. Okay, let's take a look through here. We've got a few minutes to kill. Let's take a look at our... Actually, no, i got a couple cards I want to put up before I do that. A couple of Benningtons here I need to put up. Some 84s, it looks like, which we saw them. What do we see the market? 20,000. So my... I only have one Bennington. I guess I put one up. That's weird. I thought I had two. That's Veerth. Maybe one's in the trip up. Trip up. Anyway, so this Bennington. See, one of them I bought a little high at twenty thousand the other day when the when the when the cost was a little bit higher. Right now we are seeing them go over twenty thousand. I gotta wait though to sell one of these. The other one I got at sixteen thousand. So that's a good profit. I'm gonna put it up. This one. Okay, we'll say that. This one. We'll say nineteen. I mean, we could probably do. We can do 20. We'll try 20 out here. Just sitting on this one Bennington card I haven't been able to sell, though. Um, so what are we looking at right now? 232. Yeah, we're a little, little off with our... With our stuff right now. Let me go... Oh, whoops. So you want to go the other way. Sorry, I have this one column that I do corrections, and I, just in case, sometimes my stuff gets off, you know, just depending on whatever. Little rewards, stuff that come in, I may not have it all, so. Uh, may not have it all, quote unquote. So here's a good card. <laughs> Scudro, he's an 82 overall. He's good to just check for those ones. Also, Ackman Larson, another one. Some of these 82s are just really good cards that you can start to look into to just sell as well so okay nothing really else there okay, now we can start now we've got our prices all figured out too and we can start to kind of go through the different players and figure out um see if there's any deals there right so we can even do because the 80 to 82s are so close in price we see 1100 to 1400 and we basically want to buy them all in that same range you can do the 80 to 82s together and just find a low price, and if anything pops out, you can just, you know, grab her. Let's try out 1100s. We got a fair amount here. Thousands. Thousands. A lot of thousands. I just, they don't seem like buys to me. I really need something. Only 82s would be buys at that price. Which I'm, I didn't, maybe I missed. Did I see any 82s in there? No, no 82s. Appleton, I don't see this card very much. Like this is just a cracking card. And then the other thing is too, just to double check if there's any cards that were in here for low that were those 80, 81s or anything that may be worth more with speed or anything like that. Nothing too crazy. So yeah, we're gonna move on to the 84s. Should we should do the 83s first? And they are in about the 8,000 range. So try that out. Basically, I'm just going through these filters now and trying to find, you know, some good deals. Oh, nothing's really below here. Everything's 8,500-ish. Yeah. Let's check the 84s. One Aho at 18,000. We sell him at 20. We make a little bit, so we'll do that. Aho. Aho. 84. 1850. 
And he is up. I should just done the video. Set him up for 20. We'll go on to the 85s. Move them down with a 16. Holy, that's so funny. It is just hilarious to me how much less the 85s are worth. 13, 9. Double check. The, uh, yeah, I mean, it's so close that 13, 9. I'm getting 13, 6. I can actually sell them for 16. It's close. It's still just a little bit much. Okay, let's take a look at the 86s. Oh, I forgot to check my price on that. Okay, so the 86s should be 28 ish. We got. Oh, I see too many here. Okay, 30, 28, 25. It's not bad, 25. Price 26 for a price. Okay, wait, it's 25. That's 25, 1200. So we have a bit of 28. It's 20, 60, that's not bad. That's a little bit if I can sell that. This one's selling for 28. Everything's selling for 28. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll do this one. I've had a lot of luck flipping these. We bought for 25. Hurry, we're selling for 28. I have done. So many of these, it feels like. Oops, 86 for 25,000. Sell for 28, which looks like, yeah, 1600 profit. We'll take it. There we go. Three hours, 28. Yeah, a little bit of profit there if we can do it. Alright, Stolevsky. How much he's going for? A lot of these. Hold on. Oh, I should check my, how much is left in my bid here. I better we missed it. Maybe it was bought now, I guess. Goodbye by them. Okay, so let's take a look here at the X-Factors again and see what's going on. I didn't think we were at the 87s. Let's so check them out before we do. Actually, do we do the 86s? Yeah, we do the 86s. So we'll do some 87s. I forgot to the price, which was really high at like 99, right? Yeah, 100k even. Crosby's that aren't selling in a Matthews. Oh my god. This. Oh, not so good. 105. 112. Yeah. I thought that would be a lot bigger price point. A lot bigger gap. Especially at this time. I would have thought there's, there's still five of them. Surprising how many there are. And yeah, let's take a look. Ooh, where are the overalls? Let's take a look at the X Factors now that we saw that we did our loop. It did get bought. Wow, Pavelski for 49. That's <laughs> right, 50. Chuck, there's that O'Reilly for 90 still. That was the one we thought about. Chuck for 82. 85, 81, 80. 59. Someone just got to Hubbard do 99. Feels like a rare one. He's the only Hubbard do too. Oh, it's been there for like 45. I guess it's just a nose. I think the other one got bought. Is that who I was watching? I don't know. Okay, so we've gone through here. We, we've seen a little bit of profit. We haven't got any big buys really or anything like that. But we made a little bit of profit in this time. Nothing crazy. So that's basically everything I was going to go over in this video. Just how I'm kind of going through and trying to figure out the prices on cards. And just as I'm looking through and trying to find cards to buy and flip and just make a little bit of coin. So thanks a lot for checking this video. I'm Time Bomb. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you guys later. Boom, boom.